join me on another fossil hunting video on my local beach searching for these beautiful Jurassic Age fossils. There's lots of fossil finds to be found in this video so I hope you enjoy it. Hello everybody welcome back to another fossil hunting video on my YouTube channel. So you can see that the sea is still really quite far in. It's quite a flat tide today so I've managed to get round pretty early. Let's go ahead and look at some of the more interesting finds that I've picked up already today. So this is one of the first finds that I picked up and it's an absolute monster dak. So this is definitely one of the biggest ones that I've picked up, if not the very biggest. And it was obviously fresh out of the cliff because you can see all the rock dust on the outside of it. And it's all the way complete to the very mouth border. Fingers crossed it's got a perfect middle on the inside. This is another quite interesting find that I've picked up. You can see a mouth border of a Harposterus ammonite. I'm hoping it's going to be all there inside the rock but there's no guarantees so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take it back and use my air pen just to reveal some of this rock and get rid of it. There's a beautiful grey shale looking ammonite in this nodule here. I'd guess it's a Dactyliosaurus tenucostatum but I'm going to have to give it a crack open on camera and fingers crossed we'll get a really nice ammonite specimen from it. So I'm going to give it a tap running along the edge here and hopefully it will split open as I'm hoping it will. You can never guarantee when you split them on the beach though. and it's broken open. Let's have a look how it's gone. Wow! Absolutely beautiful. It was a Dactyliosaurus tenucostatum and it's absolutely stunning. And there was actually another one on the negative there. What a perfect example that is. So my plan for the rest of today is to spend quite a bit of time having a search around all the nooks and crannies at low tide after all the water has gone. A bit of Gyrostius fishbone there. Not something I collect, it's really common around this part of the coast. So on this shale slab are belemites or squid-like creatures, there's three of them. This tiny little one here. This one's had burrowing creatures going through it. Pidux, I believe. I'll see if it's loose enough to just take out so I can show you it. Yep. So you can see the boring marks right there. Quite interesting. But it just shows how these little sea creatures can destroy fossils. Let's see if there's anything else interesting in these loose shale slabs on the beach. If you do enjoy watching my fossil hunting videos, please consider hitting that subscribe button and giving the video a like if you have enjoyed it. Thank you. If you'd like to purchase your very own fossil from the Yorkshire coast, please check out my website called buyafossil.com. I've got a bunch of beautiful prepared ammonites up for sale. I've also got fossilised marine reptile bow. I've also got unopened ammonite nodules that you can have shipped to your own house and have a go at cracking them open with a hammer or using your own air tools or even a Dremel to have a go at preparing them yourself. I added this new section to the website yesterday, stocked full of beautiful cut and polished ammonites. These are sliced down the middle using a saw and polished to a high finish and they show the beautiful calcite chambers that you don't usually get to see with traditionally prepared fossils using an air pen. Please take a look if this is your cup of tea.
Someone has bust a very nice looking Harposterus ammonite. Some of the calcite crystals in the ammonite chamber there. What a shame. Here's the other end of the fossil. Possibly could be repaired, but not something I'm willing to take the time to do. I'm sure other people potentially would. I'll leave these here. So I've just picked this beach pebble up and there's a Bellamite Fragma cone, or at least a cross section of one. It's been wearing out for quite a bit of time. Pretty cool to see, quite a big one actually. I have created a group on Facebook where people can share pictures and videos of their fossil finds from the Whitby area. I want it to be a friendly group for people to get help with their fossil hunting and also receive identifications on their finds. I would love to see you all join. I'll put a link in the video and also in the comments. Thank so you. So I've just come across this shale slab here, which is a ammonite deathbed. There's all different types of ammonites here. So I think these are tenuclostatum ammonites and this one possibly a semisolatum ammonite, although I'm not really 100% sure. But you can see how full it is, absolutely teeming with them. And it goes underneath this large sandstone block. Very impressive. So I found a really nice looking nodule, there's no keel of an ammonite poking out but I'm going to give it a tap open in just a minute and fingers crossed it breaks open well. I've also spotted a nodule which looks like it's already been cracked open and I can see a faint ammonite keel but I don't know whether it's cracked open on its own or somebody's smashed it and left it but let's have a look together. Feels a bit light. Oh, somebody's already broken that one. What a shame. a Bellamite Fragma Cone, so I'm guessing that's what will be inside here. Let's find out. Yeah, Bellamite Fragma Cone. I did actually find a much nicer one earlier on, so I could see the bottom of it poking out of a nodule, and I gave it a crack open with my hammer to reveal the beautiful squid-like creature's body part. So unfortunately at this section of the hunt my camera didn't record the audio but what I've found here is quite an impressive one even though it's very sea worn it's a block full of ichthyosaur bones in fact you can see a rib and lots of verts running around the side of it I'm not sure if this material will prep but it's really nice to find I'm always happy to find ichthyosaur bone on the beach so my dad's just found this tenuclostatum nodule, hopefully there'll be one inside it. Let's have a look. A perfect one. So a very good success rate on these. Three beautiful poppers. So I'm just making my way back and I've picked up this unsuspecting nodule. There's a very worn keel 
so I wasn't expecting anything particularly decent inside but look at the absolutely stunning Hildoceros that has popped out of it with a pinpoint middle absolutely beautiful it's even got some of the original shell on it as well So just making my way over the rocks and this just caught my eye so I'm going to show you exactly what caught my eye and I'll zoom right in any good let's have a look what it is oh that looks very good matrix free as well hopefully it's not got a little bit of damage Wow, absolutely perfect and just sat out amongst the rocks at low water. It's amazing that it survived this long actually. Hopefully you have all enjoyed this video and I will see you all on the next one.